I recently picked up a Ford, and like every Ford owner says, there's nothing like driving a Ford. I've driven this thing for, what, two weeks? And when I first got it, I thought it was a piece of shit. It's ugly, it's rusted to hell. But you know what? After two weeks of driving a shitty Ford, I'm now putting it out there. Ford is the best auto manufacturer in the world. I mean, look at this thing. It's what, 10, 15 years old? Held up perfectly fine. There's absolutely no signs of age or wear on this immaculate vehicle. You don't see that on a Chevy. I mean, sure, my Camaro doesn't have any rust, but that's a rare case. But yeah, after 10 years, there isn't a single sign of wear or tear anywhere on this vehicle. It looks fucking solid. You know, this isn't supposed to close. People don't get that. Like, that, that isn't fucking rust. It's actually weight reduction. They did this in the factory. People see that and they think, oh, well, it's rusty. No, it's not. That's intentional. You look at this, look at these very simple dials so that handicapped people can use them. That's what Ford is all about. And you got nice space back here because, let's face it, you purchased a Ford. Your children aren't going to be very bright. You just put them in the back and you don't worry about them. This thing is nice and high off the ground. It's got four-wheel drive. What more could you need? And here's what makes Ford really special. You got this vehicle that's nearly 5,000 pounds, and what do you power it with? A V6 engine. Because if there's anything that owning a Ford has told me, it's that V6s are way more powerful than V8s. They're better fuel economy. I mean, sure, the Chevy's V8 is more powerful and better fuel economy, but this is a Ford, so it's better. Like you're looking at this, four liters v6 power i don't need a v8 i feel perfectly fine getting passed on the highway i feel perfectly fine not being able to pass on the highway i don't need to be at the front of the pack when i drive a ford see when you drive a chevy you want to get where you're going as fast as possible so people don't see you're driving a chevy but when you're driving a ford like this thing you want to go slow you want people to see and see that guy drives a Ford. And that's why all Fords are slow pieces of crap. So everyone gets to see him a little bit longer.